All right, guys. So I'm gonna do a little quick tour of my Otter XT Cottage X Over. So I'll just show you guys a little bit of what I have going on. It's not the end of my setup because I still want to add some stuff to it. But this is what I currently have. So you will notice I have this motion sensor light, solar powered. So if anybody gets from 20 feet from my house, if I have this window open, I will know that somebody's walking outside. Maybe it's the DNR or somebody, it would alert me so I can uh, count my limits just to make sure I'm not over the limit. This is the inside. Let's start off on the back side here. You guys see my pictures. This is a thermo seat I got from Fleet Farm. Uh, it was on sale for like 14 bucks. Had a gift card, so when I got one of these seats, and then my Markham lithium uh, bucket that came with uh, the lithium shuttle a long time ago. Had a slit here, catch fish, throw fish in here, or maybe just store some uh, additional um, accessories or tools and stuff. Then this plate. Or bucket holder. This is from Rough Country. It's supposed to be on the back of an uh, ATV Polaris Ranger, I believe. It has these two eyelets. Probably gonna attach maybe my pliers or something to that. Really easy, simple setup. Really lightweight. On the left side and right side, I left the bench seat brackets on. Just in case if somebody does come fish with me, um, we can use the bench seat and it should still be able to uh, be installed even with all this stuff in here. So on the right side here, got my rapid power boxes. Uh, these are the power adapters. This one here on my M18 Milwaukee battery, powering my outer lights right now. With the outer LEDs going pretty bright for the price. But you know, there are other lights out there. If you check on Amazon, I have used truck bed lighting in the past and it's uh, worked well as well so more cost effective got this outer rod holder on this side here might get another one put it on the other side over there uh, just in case if I'm like moving my um, equipment around or something my setup every time I go out um, second one over here same thing with the battery rapid power boxes um, I got the power adapter as well with the two uh, quick charge USB outputs. Charging my phone or other accessories. Right here I got the catch board. This is a 16 uh, inch catch board. I mounted it with their mount itself. Right through the sled. And then put a nut at the other end. And I can just remove it, measure the fish, and then it's got this place. Uh, for it on the slide. Back side here, got the clam four rod holder. Previously on my um, other sled, so I attached it on here. Got the four rods on here, just for an uh, example. Show you guys. And then these are the flame kings, one pound uh, tanks, the refillable ones. Um, I have four of them. Got one, um, got two, got two of them on my heater right now. So these two here are just sitting here. Just for an example, but I am gonna probably 3D print something here so I can just put these uh, tanks in and they won't be moving or shifting when I'm moving and stuff like that. Nothing much on this side. I'm gonna leave it open. Got the heater still to put in here as well as my auger. Front side here, you guys see the tackle bag here. Just an example, but I'm probably gonna build something here so I can just slide all my tackle boxes and they're permanently in my sled at all times. So I don't have to keep taking them out. On the top, we got the cargo loader from Cars. Uh, 10 bucks on Amazon. Got it on the poles. Can easily be disconnected. Just disconnected from these. Take it off, but uh, when I pull the outer down, it folds pretty nice, so no worries there. Got the big buddy heater going. I am on low right now. Feels pretty warm. Um, given that I am not outside. But I think this big buddy heater might just be too big. 
for the size of a house. So I might sell this one and might go get uh, one of the heat hogs. Probably, I believe they have a 9000 BTU. So get a smaller one. Then you guys seen my foam floor mats. This is from Harbor Freight for 10 bucks. Um, each square measures 25 inches by 25 inches. And then I got the three 8 inch holes. Got the EOYO um, camera panner down there. Um, if I'm not using that hole for the camera, that's fine. I can probably still put my life scope here, have one rod on that side, and then have another rod on that side, or put the life scope on that side, shooting this way, and then I can still use these two holes right here to fish. Front and right, we got the GoPro. Gonna be doing all the recording, uh, third person recording. So really easy, simple setup, really easy to remove. Clamp on style mounting. Then on this side over here, we have my other uh, holder for my phone. Uh, as you guys do know, my live scope, my screen is the 943XSV GPS map. So when I'm using the helm feature in um, the app, I can actually do a screen recording off my phone through the application. So that's what I'm gonna do. Got this camera over here for the third person uh, footage. And then my phone will be doing all the screen recording. So I'm gonna try to match it up. Um, give you guys a different look at uh, some of the footages and stuff. So really awesome setups. Uh, as you guys know, this is my Tacti Grip Live Scope Shuttle. This is the second season with the shuttle. And as you guys can see, got my glow cup here automatically goes on 20 seconds it will shut off not lying um, I 3d printed a cup holder up here looks kind of janky but it works and then I have my yo yo camera uh, holder as well as the cord organizer so still a pretty heavy setup but a lot more lightweight than uh, in the past a lot of people have been asking me about the clips for the poles I put up here. Those two clips are called the B-Mini clips. Uh, look for them on Amazon. I believe those size right there, um, they are the one inch size. So if you guys have a taxi grip shuttle, look for those on Amazon. B-Mini clips, B-I-M-I-N-I. -I -I. And then I have the Yak Attack uh, Black Pack Pro down there use it to have my screen set up a little bit higher so I'm not constantly looking down so it helps with the neck and back and stuff like that uh, but I am also going to be using the black pack pro or other items tackle plastic food things like that I could probably put my propane tanks in there as well and maybe I should just do that and then I am going to add a radio I had a radio um, last season but that one is a little bit too big so it gets a smaller I also add to this pole over here is like a portable TV so stream some TV and stuff when the bites are getting tough just so I can go through the day and not be so bored but I don't think I am gonna have an issue this season with finding fish because I have a life scope choking just because you have a life scope doesn't mean you always catch fish. You can probably find fish, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna bite. Uh, yeah, besides that, that is all I have right now for my setup for the Otter Cottage. It's the XT Over model. Got everything pretty much set up right now, but like I said, still got some other stuff I wanna do to the sled. Make my life a lot easier when I'm out ice fishing. So let's go back, show you guys my motion sensor light again. I'm just joking, I always catch my limit, or some days I don't even bring fish home, but this is just something I felt like I wanted to just put on there for the video, but I am going to take it off, I am not going to be using it. But it's pretty cool though, right? If you guys have a house or something like that, or you guys do want to put a motion sensor light, I just zip tied it to one of the clips up there where you would put your um, your tags and stuff like that. So 
yeah, if you guys have any questions, send me a message and we can talk about it. Thanks for watching.